Hey guys, it's Adam from Crime and Gun Northern Beaches here, and I'm here with the one and only Adam, Alvin Dennis, all the way from England. And we're going to be talking today about uh, a knife attack that isn't on you. So the problem is that, you know, if you've noticed you've been in a situation and, you know, there's a terrorist attack or there's some type of attack or promotion that you've noticed, and someone has a weapon and they're actually stabbing someone else. And you're coming in as a third party, what to do? So from this position here, if I'm coming, let's say in this case here, the technique that we're doing today is I'm coming from this angle, I'm going to be coming here, grabbing and controlling, here. Now this looks very similar to a lot of grappling moves, which we sort of consider like to be like a two-on-one, where I have some type of control. So as the person stabbing, what I want to be doing is coming with my hands that are open to get some type of grip. It's a very simple motion to come up with two hands and grab onto their hands. As I grab on here, I want to be pulling down into this position. Now I can have one hand over or I could have one hand under. It doesn't matter too much if I have an over. In this position, I can get to certain locks or even better if I have it under here. So as the stab's coming, I come up and grab. Now from here, I want to pull the arm back to my body. When I bring it on my body, now I have a sense of control, which means that I know where his weight is, I know where he's pushing, I can control him. I've hooked on here with one hand, and I've hooked on here, and I'm pushing. So I want his elbow on my sternum or thereabouts. It's sort of like an arm bar, you could say. As I pull back here, I'm extending the joint. Now I have no intent, obviously, of extending anymore. I'm not going to get much more leverage with my body here, but I've controlled the joint, which means for him to use his arm, he has to rely on his bicep to pull, pull back now. But in this position here, I've got a lot more control. I can use my shoulder to push down and a lot more weight. I can transition if I want to a secret, and I've got a lot of control now. Hooked on here. Now, from this motion here, I'm going to step back and push down. Which means now, I'm taking him down to the ground. Now, when he's on the ground and I can call for help, I can pin him down, hold him down, disarm the knife. These are things that we look to do in this situation. So I've hooked on, one. Two, pulled it to my chest. I can transition to some type of seat grip, keep the knife away from the body, push with the uh, shoulder down here. Step back for leverage as I push down here, take it down to the ground. Now from this position here, there's a few ways to transition. One, I can use my hand to push, Two, I can use my leg as well. Generally, I use the body to push down and then push with the hand. From this position here, generally, I will come up with my knee and push down on his tricep, pin his wrist, hold his head down. Now, from this position, I really want to use my weight well. Using my knee here, very similar again to grappling. When I'm trying to pass someone's guard or get through their legs, I'm really pushing here, which is uncomfortable pinning and I want to hold the head or the neck area because as soon as he has that little bit free motion here or his head, it's going to make it hard for me to pin him, but when I hold down, it gets easier. Now weight distribution is really important from that position. If I lie down on his back here like this, it is similar to if you do anything on the ground, I want to maximize the weight that I have if I'm in side control or a knee on belly. So it's really good to practice exercises where I really want to utilize as much weight, have a straight structure, push down, and have minimal weight on my other leg, so I was really feeling a lot of weight here. The same would be when I'm controlling, I want to have my knee down, putting a lot of weight down, and controlling in this position. One more time for the full technique. Someone's stabbing, I come up, I grab, I control, step back, push down, get to some type of control, pin, call for help, etc. This time the night. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you can get notified every time new videos are uploaded.